Uh, thanks, everybody. My name is Konstantin Semenov. I'm the principal software engineer at Pivotal here in Dublin. And uh, first of all, I'd like to thank my colleagues, uh, Tyson, Fabio, Banks, and Luis. Uh, uh, we have been exploring uh, a TDD uh, approach to developing Angular 2 applications with TypeScript, which is still in beta, but we're it's out of alpha now. <laughs> so we're pretty excited about uh, having more structure to our JavaScript applications that are brought by TypeScript and some of the features uh, I'd like to show you now. So first of all, uh, it's a bit tedious still to set up uh, an Angular application. So what we found out at the moment is uh, it's a pretty good thing to use some kind of a seed or a template to start with, since there's no CLI tool or anything that's official at least. <coughs> so we found this Angular 2 seed at, at this GitHub repository here. And it has all the testing frameworks configured, has Jasmine in there, has end-to-end e -end tests all set up through gulp tasks, has uh, linting, separating between development and production environment, continuous integrations, and many, many more. So you can look at the readme in that just by searching Angular 2 seed on the GitHub. So for the purpose of this uh, talk, uh, we'll talk about a hypothetical application that's an address book that allows you to view address records. So you have a search box on a list of addresses. So Angular uh, encourages you to use separate components for separate things. So we'll be talking about how do we go on about independently building our components that have dependencies. So specifically, we'll be talking about this area here, which is the list. It has a few dependencies. Uh, one of them is a dependency on the search query uh, that is communicated through the request params, for instance, and a remote service that will be connecting to a REST API and will be getting the list for us to display. So, <coughs> Uh, the way uh, we handle those dependencies is we inject them into the constructor, but we also would like to use our mocks as well. So in order to do that, um, uh, does anybody have a clue of how to fit the mock uh, and still have a tight constructor parameter? Well, the answer is, uh, well, what we've came up is to use the interfaces that we have in TypeScript. So a uh, very common and very convenient place to put the interface is the application module because they will be used all over the place. So it doesn't make sense to define them in their own file. And the, this way we can just specify the interface as the type that we're injecting. So another dependency, sorry, another dependency that we have is the network service. So for instance, what do we do if we don't have the network service yet? We're depending to developing the component. So uh, the way the way to go would be like Ken Beck said is to develop your interfaces that are not influenced by the implementation, but write a test first, and that's a better way to achieve the separation. So we would think, okay, what would be the interface that we would need? How do we communicate with the service? So it would be a, something like a get method that would get a string and return an observable list of our address objects. So this way we could s uh, quickly come up with an implementation, pretty dumb one, but uh, we could use a mock then in the implementation of our component and we can inject uh, the interface into our construction, and use the interface as the type for our parameter in the constructor. Another thing that is important, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm almost done. <laughs> so uh, the last thing that is also important that we came up with is how do you test networking code? So you could come up with a mock server or something, but again, with this observable, uh, what you can come up with is you can inject uh, in the observable into a mock, and then in that closure uh, where you create the observable, you capture the uh, the observable values so you can trigger the next 
method on it to generate a successful call and uh, call the error to generate a failure. And that's about it. Thank you very much.